We continue to preview the 2024 college volleyball season here on Midwest Sportsnet. And our stop today is Costa Mesa, California. We have to visit with Jennifer Dorn, who is heading into her eighth season with the program of the Vanguard Lions. Coach, I know there's some transition, which we want to talk about a little bit later on. But let's go back to last season for what for just a moment. What a fantastic year. 29-2 and two in AIA National Quarterfinal appearance for the program. And don't want to leave out 27 consecutive wins at one point in time. Tell us a little bit about last year. Oh, last year was was so fun. Um, we came in, we had a big uh, class two years ago that came in as freshmen who made a, a big impact on our court right away. Um, as freshmen, I think all four of them were starting at certain places, or at least three of them were, were starting at certain times. Um and so we came into this last year as a lot more experience. Uh, we had kind of a heartbreaking loss in our conference playoffs the year before. And just this group of girls we had um, really bought into our culture and what we were, were planning to do. And uh, they just came back with all the vengeance. <laughs> like They were ready. They were ready to do, um, you know, make some moves and uh, kind of set out to do what we were hoping to do the year before and, and didn't accomplish. Um, and it was fascinating. It was like beautiful to watch all year because you had these freshmen stepping into the kind of their sophomore year. You had the supporting crew. We had some like, you know, fifth year uh, senior on our right side with Callie and a, a geez, was she a fifth or sixth year by that point? Natalie, our libero. Um, she transferred over from the beach program a few years ago, but um we had the leadership. We had we just had all the pieces come together, um, and every match where we're like, okay, we're how are we going to handle this? Like our team would just like grit down and just pull out these wins, and just they would never give up. Um, and it was just so fun to be part of, um, so fun to watch, and we we really segmented out our season. I think you know, volleyball season can be kind of long sometimes and it's preseason and then you have season and then you have postseason and, you know, you kind of just like, it's still going. Um, so we, we kind of did a good job or we did a good job of segmenting it out. Like what are the sprints that we need to accomplish to get to the end? And um, yeah, just so proud of, of where we were and, and honestly seeing it as we are heading into D2, like it doesn't, that doesn't start when we get to D2, like it needs to start now. And like, the things we're doing in our program and instilling and, and the expectations only get greater and bigger. And we need to kind of head there now, not just wait till we're there. Cause it's going to be a big shock, you know? So. Yeah. Let that transition that I mentioned a little bit earlier, as you're speaking about right now, moving from the NAI to NCAA division two, year two of the process is what you're heading into right now. And so that, that first year for programs, for those not familiar with it, you still get to compete with the NAIA, but the second year it becomes more of a, of a division two look uh, competing in the PAC West, West conference. Now you'll be a member of that conference uh, along the way, part of that transition process. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on. I know it's more than just volleyball. It's the entire athletic department, but there's a lot that goes into that. Oh yeah, we're going through it right now as an athletic department. Um, yeah, working on all the the rule. Well, and the rules are changing again in a few weeks. So, um, you know, we've we've done so much, and it hasn't just been this last year. It's been years, like a couple of years before that. Um, you know, and and as we've kind of headed this direction, we've already we've been trying to lay the the foundation and kind of the scaffolding before we've gotten here. So. Um, we're ahead of the game in some ways, but there's a lot of unknown still <laughs> until we're actually there. Um, you know, I've been part of NCAA division two programs before as a coach, as an assistant. Um, so it's not unfamiliar, but certainly, and obviously there's a lot in our conference who used to be in the old NAIG SAC. Um, so it's kind of like, we're all going back to, to that, you know, group together. Um, but yeah, there's, we're excited for what there's so much new, I think, happening in our program right now. We have a new arena opening up. We have obviously a new Pac West. We have new NCAA rules. You know, these girls aren't really used to yet. And it's just a lot, a lot of new, um, which is exciting, but also can create, you know, some anxieties and things like that. So we're, we're navigating it well. It'll make a difference with those substitutions, right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss those. Uh, 
yeah, I get to use however many I want. That's going to be nice. Uh, well, talk, a about, a lot. talk a little bit about the team then that's coming up here as, as you'll, again, have to use them maybe a little bit more sparingly in, in some instances. But with, uh, with Morgan Cole coming back, an All-American from last season, led the team for you in kills, second on the team in digs as well. Talk about your offense a little bit, and, and she may be leading the way. Yeah, um, Morgan's been fun. She she just has a great all around game. Uh, she's a competitor, wants to compete, wants to be at the higher level. Um, so she just knowing her, I know she's going to be so motivated coming in uh, for this this uh, fall. Um, you know, she's she's been a staple for us the last couple of years on the outside. Every year has been a really big growing uh, year for her. Um, I think with um, her game and just kind of how she sees uh, the dynamics of her position. Um, so I'm excited to see what she brings this year um, to be kind of that stable force, kind of all six rotations for us um, as she has in the past. We're visiting now with Coach Jennifer Dorn from the Vanguard Lions. Uh, Coach, I, I know a couple of upperclassmen, and you may get a little bit more time with one of them in particular, Madeline De DeLucia, but also Rachel Lim coming back. Uh, uh, I'm assuming a 6-2 rotation. you got a lot of opportunity for both of them to excel in, in that setter position. Yeah, um, we're excited to have both of them back. They've both been starters here um, for their pretty much their whole careers. Um, and they, they bring a lot of really great defense to our position. Um, their, their smarts and their play, their IQ has just grown every year. Um, Maddie, uh, is particular, uh, she's a captain for us. So she, um, is just so, she's so motivated, I think. And I think really excited to like that she gets this extra year because of COVID, like to see the fruition of our arena, to see the fruition of actually getting to compete against these Pac West teams. Um, so I think she's she's highly motivated, but they they just bring a lot of experience, I think, um, to you know what we're going to be doing. Um, even though I mean, at the end of the day, it's all volleyball, right? Like it's different place, different gym, different opponent, but it's it's the same sport. So. Uh, but they bring a lot of just calm and um, I think experience to our program. So, well, I know one one person in particular you have to replace is Natalie Escher as as she's expended all of her extended time <laughs> to to get to be a part of the program as long as she can. Talk about that and and who we might see uh, filling roles, libero or a defensive specialist. Yeah, um, that one's going to be interesting to see as we come into the fall. We have we have Blair Dodge, who was a libero before Natalie, um, and she split time uh, this last year. She We used her as a defensive specialist and would move Natalie from that left back position to middle back during her libero time in the in the back court. And then Blair would play. She's good in that left back. And um, Blair has experience playing libero. I think she's she's a gamer. She um, has a lot of, uh, she'll be a senior. She has a lot of just leadership and a really, really great communicative voice. Um, and she's just a competitor. So I think she's going to compete. I think with one of our freshmen coming in, Kate Fagundes, um, who is just a really solid player from, um, NorCal and Sacramento area. And I think that it'll be interesting to see how those two challenge it out. Um, we also have some, we're going to have five kind of DS libero, uh, people in that position. And so it's going to be probably one of our most competitive positions. I think uh, we'll see how it plays out this fall, but I think we'll be okay. Um, we're going to miss Natalie for sure. Just her leadership and man, she just, when she's determined, it's just like, there's no letting a ball fall near her. Um, but I think we're going to be okay as far as just that com competition in our gym and who's going to buy for that. So we talked about the Pac West, and that's the conference to which you all are are heading, and actually members now as as we've turned the calendar into July. So, congratulations on the next step in that official process. That's part of the schedule that's on the way. I know that you'll uh, get an opportunity to see all those teams, but you get things going a little bit earlier. You see San Marcos and Point Loma, uh, an opportunity to get to to see some new competition then to get the season going. Tell us a little bit about your upcoming schedule. Yeah, we, um, you know, it's tricky being new in, in uh, D2 because strength of schedule really matters. So trying to get into some matches 
being the new kids on the block, uh, we're getting those early matches in. Um, it will be a good opportunity for us to see um, some cross-conference play um, and really just an opportunity to see, okay, what do we got? <laughs> uh, you know, our conference, we have 20 matches in our conference um, and it's stacked, um, you know, especially the south side. So it's going to be a lot of tough competition uh, day in and day out. Um, so I think that early opportunity for those early tournaments are really going to help us kind of gauge, okay, this, these are where we really need to work, you know, these things we really need to work on, these things we really need to prepare for going into conference and allow us a little bit of leeway there before we head into it. All right. Well, we're going to follow you another year as you continue to move along. Fantastic season last year and success to the Lions this year. Coach Jennifer Dorn, the head volleyball coach for the Vanguard Lions. Thank you very much for taking time with us today and previewing the 24 college volleyball seasons. Thank you so much for having me.